In this video, I want to edit this picture and make the skin stand out a little bit more. This picture is a portrait of a man in Havana, Cuba, shot by photographer A.J. Handa. Now, I want to use Nick uh, plugins. They're from Google now. So if you go to nicksoftware.com, and I think there's a Google address, but I don't know it off the top of my head, you can download them there. I think they have a free trial still that you can use. Um, in this case, uh, I can access them in Photoshop from my filter menu and go down to the Nick collection. But instead of doing that, I'm going to use the Nick Selective tool right here. And I'm going to choose first Viveza 2, which is a plugin that for, uh, for selective adjustments. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase structure, which is going to increase some global contrast throughout the image. Just going to pump it up maybe about 25% right there. And I can see before and after. Now, I'm going to grab this, and this is a control point. So I click on it. And then I come over to an area of the image that I want to adjust, and I click on that area. Now, this little handle right here allows me to increase and decrease the size of a circle, and that's called the area of influence. So what's going to happen is the software is going to look at the pixel that I've dropped this little handle on, and then it's going to look at other pixels that look like they're the same object in that area of influence. It's going to use color, texture, tone. And it's going to create a mask for this adjustment. So I'm going to increase brightness. And it's going to increase the brightness just in the face there. And now I actually want to go to, say, like the eye sockets right here. And I'm maybe going to brighten them up a little bit. But I don't need such a wide area of influence. So I'm going to shrink it a little bit. I'm going to hold my Option or Alt key. And I can copy that over here, too. I'm going to brighten up the iris of his eye. So I'm going to drop one right there, the iris of the other eye. Now I'm watching that loop down in the bottom right-hand corner so I can see precisely where I'm putting everything. And I'm going to put one on the white of the eye and the white of this eye as well. There we go. That's about all I want to do here in Vivesa. So I'm going to click OK. And it's going to process that and create a new layer. So if I go to my Layers panel here, you'll see I have a layer that's called Viveza 2. Now just to keep things running quickly, I'm just going to flatten that down. The next thing I want to do is I want to go into Color Effects Pro. So I'm going to choose Color Effects Pro 4 from my Selective tool here. And it's going to load Color, it's going to load color Effects Pro 4 plugin here. Take uh, just a second to do that. Now it has like 50 plus different ones in here. Uh, and if you just click on the little star beside any one of these, then they become a favorite. And so I just basically start in the list that I have here of favorites. I'm going to use this filter here called Bleach Bypass. And if I click on the little thumbnail right here, I get the uh, all of the uh, presets that come with it. I'm just going to apply the uh, normal preset. And this looks not like what I'm after here. So um, I'm just going to edit that right here. So the saturation, I don't really want to lose much saturation here. So I'm just going to push this till it's more or less at zero, maybe like I've got minus eight. This contrast here in the image, I'm just going to lower that all the way to 20, which is as far down as this goes. And then the local contrast, I'm going to lower this still a bit further, say to right about there. And that doesn't look too, too bad. So I can do a comparison before and after, before and after. And I click OK. And it's going to process that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten that down a little bit. And I'm going to choose Silver FX Pro, which is how I process black and white images. But I can use this as a means of just increasing the overall contrast. So I'm going to click on Silver Effects Pro. It's going to bring up the uh, Silver Effects Pro black and white conversion dialog box when it's you know done loading. There we go. And what I want to do in this is, first of all, I'm going to come down here and increase the yellows just a little bit to just brighten the skin up a little bit and the reds as well. There we are. I'm going to come up to my structure, maybe add a little bit more structure, although I could have done that in Viveza. And then down here under contrast, I'm going to amplify the blacks 
and amplify the whites like that. There we go. And I'm going to click OK. And it's going to process that image. Now, of course, it's going to create, like all Nick plugins, a, uh, a layer on top of my original layer here. And I'm going to change the blend mode. That's the little box here that says Lumin or that says normal. And I'm going to change that to luminosity. So it only affects the contrast and not the color of the image. And then I'm going to fade this down, let's say, to about here, 42. That looks pretty good. I'm going to flatten that down. Now, one thing I did notice is there's a little bit of haloing going on in this image right there. So I can fix that by creating a new layer. I'm going to change the blend mode to darken. And so if I paint over this area, it's only going to uh, basically appear if the, uh, if the area that I'm sampling from is darker than the area I'm painting over. So if I grab my clone stamp tool, that's the S key, and I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. I'm going to sample right here. And as I start to paint, if I paint onto the hair, it doesn't matter because the hair is darker, so it's just not going to show up. So I can just real quickly paint away that halo right there. And I can do that. There's other areas where the halo is around, like here. Um, but you get the idea of what's going on, and I could paint the whole thing, and that would just be sort of tedious for you to watch. So that's kind of how I would deal with the haloing. And so here is the final image. And if I go to my history panel, let's just take a snapshot. So that's my final image, and that's where I started. So this is how I would go about bringing out all that additional detail using the Nick collection by Google.